Hi, today I'm going to be making a homemade seaweed plant fertilizer. The reason that I want to try to make this just to, is to help keep my vegetable garden chemical free and pesticide free. So this, I'm going to be using, the seaweed that I'm going to use today is dulse. I think you can also, you know, any type of seaweed is good. A lot of people use the kelp uh, fertil for fertilizer. I looked up some of the benefits online for the seaweed fertilizer and the seaweed contains uh, about 60 different trace elements to help nourish your plants. It also helps strengthen roots and limbs of the plants and help protect the plants against disease. The seaweed is also rich in nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. And the way that I'm going to make it a lot of the different recipes were for about five gallon buckets. I'm not going to be making that much because I don't, I just have a, you know, the two small little garden plots. So this ratio should be, you know, just equivalent to the larger ones, just cut down for a smaller, smaller garden. So I have here two ounces of the seaweed, and again, I've used the dulse. I rinsed it to wash away all of the salt and then I chopped it up. So I'm just going to add this seaweed. I don't have a glass bottle. I would prefer to use a glass bottle instead of plastic. So I'm just going to use the glass bowl right now and then transfer it later uh, once I get a glass bottle. And I'm also, that's two ounces of the seaweed. I'm going to add eight ounces of filtered water. And I want to also add a teaspoon of molasses. Molasses will um, provide carbon, which would help, I think it helps for breaking down bacteria. I'm not sure, but it's another ingredient to add. I don't have that right now, so I'm just going to run out, and I'm just going to add a, maybe about no more than a teaspoon of the molasses to this, this particular ratio. I'm just going to cover this in, with the lid, an airtight lid and let it sit for about two days, sorry, three days. And we'll come back and check on this so that this can break down and we'll see the next step. Thank you for watching. Hi, we're back. So the seaweed fertilizer has been sitting for three days. I did add the half teaspoon of molasses to this mixture on day one. And I left it covered and kept it in a cool, cool area of the kitchen. And when you're going to apply the seaweed fertilizer, you want to add part seaweed liquid to three parts water. So today I'm going to add three ounces of the seaweed liquid to nine ounces of water for a total of 12 ounces, and then I'll go ahead and add it to the plant roots. And once you use up all of the seaweed liquid, you can keep the seaweed solids and just use it as a mulch around your garden. Maybe just squeeze out all the water and just lay it around your garden bed. Another option for the seaweed, if you do live around a beach, you could check out um, if your local beach has any restrictions or the safety of using seaweed off of the beach in your area. And you can just pick up some seaweed from the beach, but again, you need to check any regulations or restrictions. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and please remember to subscribe. Thank you.